Right. Hey guys, Robin here and Warfish, and today, despite what's behind us, we, despite what's behind us, we don't want topology and not electricity. Anyways, let's get uh, into this. Topology is a way to study shapes, but in topology, you are allowed to stretch and squish shapes. You can stretch them as much as you want, but you aren't allowed to cut them or tear them. Also, you can't glue parts together that weren't together before. The idea is that points on a shape that are close together before you transform it will still be close together after you transform your shape. Alright, so here's a classic example of topology. A coffee cup is the exact same shape as a donut. This is Kitty. Kitty is in the land of circles and she doesn't want to get lost. She has three circles to find her way around. Doesn't seem too hard, right? If she puts her paw on the side of the circle, she can walk all the way around and she will eventually come right back to where she started. But what if we transform these circles into something more complicated? Now we have a big scary maze. Our circles are still there in their transformed shapes. Walking in a maze is the same as walking around a circle. Kitty can now put her, just put her paw on the side of a transformed circle and walk all the way around again. The path is a little longer now because it's been stretched out, but eventually Kitty has to come back to where she started. And if she started on the outside of the maze, she will eventually end up on the outside again. And now we're going to try it out on a real corn maze. This is going to be crazy. Alright, I'm about to run the corn maze, but now it's time to take it all right, let's take a look at the maze. That whole thing is the maze? Yep. Oh, look, they're looking up at it. <laughs> All right, now let's see just how big this maze is. Okay, so for this technique, we gotta pick a hand. So we're gonna choose the right hand. We chose to follow the maze with our right hand, but we could have done the whole maze with our left starting on the opposite wall. It works both ways. When you come to an intersection, most people will have to decide which way to go, but using this technique, there isn't a choice. Just keep your hand on the wall and keep going wherever it leads. If you come to a dead end, it's not really a dead end. We enter the dead end on the right side, and then follow the wall around the exit on the other side. Then we just keep going with our hand on the right wall. Here's the path we followed by following the maze wall with our right hand. If we'd used our left hand, we would have followed a different path. Okay, we're about to go, but before we go, we gotta show you. We got a bunch of shirts that you can get from a website. What website is that, Goldfish? Uh, Cafe Press, I think? Yes, that's the one. <laughs> and we hope you enjoyed this video, and as always, Remember to try this at home, if you can get a cone maze. Music from this video comes from Ben's sound.